Max, I'm the curator here at Springfield Art Week. And uh, yeah, welcome to a, another edition of our uh, Curator Corner. Uh, this year we've been focusing on the, the centennial of uh, World War I. And uh, last time we did aircraft armament, aircraft machine guns. And uh, I forget what the earlier one was. But, uh, uh, but continuing in the theme of, uh, of World War I, uh, decided to pull a bunch of automatic rifles out of the collection and uh, see how uh, each country or different belligerents within the war kind of responded to conditions on the ground, as it were, and uh, different countries responded in different ways. Um, to back this up a little bit, I'm going to back up right around to the turn of the 20th century, where the machine, you know, with the adoption of smokeless powder, and better materials made the machine gun a reality in terms of an automatic weapon that would cycle and uh, continue to cycle uh, through and each country uh, decided to adopt uh, their own versions and in fact these two over here are um, uh, in addition to uh, the, the cold potato digger uh, these were among the primary and earliest uh, uh, machine guns adopted by the army and uh, uh, what was in inventory when uh, the First World War broke out. This is Cycle Camp, and I hope you've enjoyed some of these images from the Springfield Armory Museum in Springfield, Massachusetts. There are many, many more displays and, and uh, descriptive elements available than what I've been able to capture here. It is a phenomenally interesting place to go and learn about the uh, history of the Springfield Armory, its testing facilities, its uh, design facilities, and all that stuff. Coming up, uh, you're going to see a picture of what they call the percussion organ. Uh, 670 firearms stacked anywhere from three to five deep in multiple stories. Uh, it's just an incredible sight. Go see the museum. It's a really interesting day and you'll have a great time.